Hi, and welcome to the first lecture in our AWS Developer Certification Learning Path. In this lecture, we'll briefly talk about what you'll need in order to keep up with this course. We will talk about the AWS Certified Developer Exam itself and how to prepare for it. First of all, this course is not only for developers. In fact, I think that system administrators have much more to learn from this material. It will require a good general knowledge of IT and some general programming knowledge. That's right. This learning path does not require that you have a solid programming knowledge or even experience with an AWS SDK. I took this from the exam blueprint, which says that this certification is intended for individuals who perform a developer role. It validates your abilities to design, develop, and deploy cloud-based solutions with AWS, understand the core AWS services, uses, and basic architecture best practices, develop and maintain applications written for S3, DynamoDB, Simple Queue Service, Simple Notification Service, Simple Workflow Service, Elastic Beanstalk, and CloudFormation. For me, this is the most clear exam blueprint released by AWS for any of the associate exams. I'm only quoting some key points here. If you take a look at the document itself, you'll see that they provide a few more details about the exam. But for me, this is enough to provide a clear view of the exam objectives. So where to prepare? First, the resources in this learning path will cover most of what you need to ace the exam. And I put learning path in bold because you don't necessarily need to watch all the lectures. If you're comfortable with, for example, cloud formation, you can skip the cloud formation section and you'll be just fine. At the end of this learning path, I'll add a dedicated lecture where I'll try to summarize all the points you should know for the exam. However, for this exam, you can learn more by trying things on your own. And for that, our AWS hands-on labs are just perfect. After working through this learning path, I strongly recommend that you do our AWS certification prep quizzes. They'll help you to study all the exam-related areas that this learning path may not quite cover. And last but not least, AWS's own documentation. There you'll be able to find anything that the previous resources may not cover. And speaking about documentation, AWS has done an amazing job. The AWS documentation content has a full section reserved only for developers. That reduces the scope of the documentation that you may need to read. I hope you're excited about this learning path. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any doubt about the content or the learning path itself.